Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's video, we will compare the available POE options for Raspberry Pi. First of all, the official POE hat for Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 3B+. And the common POE splitter. Each option has advantages and disadvantages. But first, the most important. If you like our tutorials, support our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Like and share our videos. And if our tutorials help you to grow your business, become a true member of Poseidon Tech by clicking the join button. If you want to learn more about our services, visit our website. We will use the POE hat on Raspberry Pi 4 and the POE splitter in the Raspberry Pi 3 since POE hat works only on Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and newer versions. Let's unbox the POE hat. Some screws are included as well apart from the actual hat. This is the POE hat that includes a fan in the top. In order to install the POE hat, we need to remove the Raspberry Pi from the case. The SD card needs to be removed first. And now it's time to install the spacers on the Raspberry Pi. Four spacers, one on each corner. Now it's time to tighten the screws. And install the actual hat. We will secure the hat with the four screws. And of course, tightening the screws. Mm -hmm. 
Have in mind that Poe hat occupies the whole pinout, so you will not be able to install any additional hat. Since we have installed these four screws with the spacer in the bottom of the Raspberry Pi, the official case cannot be used, so you need to search for an alternative. As we explained before, no room for using an additional card for Raspberry Pi. More details about this KNX KBerry card in the upcoming videos. Finally, we put back the SD card. With the POE splitter, the situation is much simpler. As you can see, we can use an additional card. And of course, this POE splitter. Now it's time to connect both of these POE options to a POE capable switch. First of all, the POE splitter. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi booted up. And finally, the Raspberry Pi with the POE hat. Both options works fine. In the case of the POE splitter, we have the additional card connect to the Raspberry Pi and we power up the device using POE. In the case of POE hat, we cannot connect any additional card to the pinout of the Raspberry Pi. Now it's time to check the power consumption in the Unify controller. So let's connect to our testing Unify environment. And let's go to the POE switch. We can see the power consumption on port 1 and 2. The biggest advantage of using POE is that you can restart Raspberry Pi through Unify controller. As it is expected, the power consumption of Raspberry Pi 4 is a little bit higher than this in the Raspberry Pi 3. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.